So part three then wants us to actually find the integral, find the exact value between 1 and 5. Notice these are x's, these 1 and 5. Um, so I'm going to need to change these, these um, boundaries into, into t's. So we know that t is the square root of 2x take 1. Um, so when x equals 5, t is uh, root 9, which is 3. And when x equals 1, um, t is the root of 2 take 1, which is just 1. So the boundaries now for t are 1 and 3. We've already turned it into the, um, an expression to do with t instead of x. But we're now faced with having to integrate this. But why did they ask us 8 part 1? We now know that 8, we also know that 8 part 1 can be rewritten as this. So, no, we can't integrate this the way it looks, but yes, we can integrate its alternative, its partial fractions. So let's integrate that instead. So we're going to be integrating between 1 and 3, 2 over t plus 1, which I'm going to keep um, in fraction form because this is just a power of 1, but minus 2, and I'm going to write this as a negative power, t plus 1 to the minus 2. Because this first one will integrate to 2 natural log of t plus 1. And notice I'm using, uh, I've used curly brackets, I could have used mod signs, I've used curly brackets because my limits are positive. So I know this is going to be positive anyway. Um, and then I need to integrate this. I'm going to add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So that's minus 1 over minus 1. But I also need to times by the differential of this bracket, but that's just 1. So all in all, 3 and 1 are my boundaries. That's 2 ln t plus 1 plus that's going to become 2 over t plus 1. And now I'm ready to input my limits. So I'm going to have 2 ln 4 plus 2 over 4 take away uh, 2 ln 2 plus 2 over 2. So we've got 2 ln 4 here plus a half take 2 ln 2 take 1 which is going to be 2 ln 4 take 2 ln 2 take away a half if it asked for it in a particular form it just said find an exact value so I think that would actually be sufficient I think you could leave your answer like that you could turn this into a single uh, log they've both got a 2 outside so that would be 2 times the natural log of 4 over 2 take a half which is obviously 2 natural log of 2 take away a half